If you watch a lot of big YouTubers, you might know about this company called SeatGeek, which is a ticket company in which you could buy tickets to musicals or sporting events. A lot of big YouTubers like Shane Dawson have been sponsored by this company. If you don't know already, SeatGeek is a ticket app that makes buying super simple. They put all the tickets in one place so you can focus on what matters most, the live experience. I have used a lot of ticket companies before like Ticketmaster and StubHub, and because this company was being sponsored by a lot of big people, I knew that I could trust this company. Yesterday, I was able to see Dear Evan Hansen with my girlfriend. We had an amazing time when we were there. And it was a couple months ago in October when I used SeatGeek to buy these tickets and I used a YouTuber's promo code. I just got Dear Evan Hansen tickets. I'm super excited. So this is the story of what happened. On February 23rd, 2019, me and my girlfriend had tickets to go see Dear Evan Hansen at the James N. Nederlander Theater, also known as the Oriental Theater. And we were seeing the 8 p.m. show. So we arrived there at 7 o'clock and the doors opened at 7.15 p.m. I had my two tickets that had the QR code and I gave them to the person to scan it so they could let us into the theater, except there was a huge red X that came up on his screen. And the guy who was scanning my ticket told me that I had to go talk to the people at the box office. So me and my girlfriend walk over to the box office and we give the guy our ticket and he looks at them and he asked me where I bought them and I told him that I got them on SeatGeek. And then he looks at me and says like, okay, so we actually discourage people using SeatGeek as we've had a lot of problems before. So he went on his computer and he looked up more information about the ticket. And it turns out that these tickets were actually double booked meaning that two people were sold the same tickets. The guy at the box office told me what he thought was going on, and he told me that SeatGeek is actually a third-party company that is associated with Ticketmaster, only that SeatGeek is run by random people out there who sell tickets that they previously bought. And he told me that whoever sold me my ticket on SeatGeek was also selling those tickets on Ticketmaster, and that's how the double booking happened. And I guess that the person who had my same ticket just happened to go inside of the theater before I did, and that meant that my ticket was no good. So at the moment, me and my girlfriend had no way of getting into the theater and seeing Dear Evan Hansen for the night. So the guy at the box office told me that I should probably step aside and call SeatGeek and tell them that my ticket was double booked and I had no way of going into the theater and let them know what happened and see if I could get a replacement ticket. So I step aside and I call SeatGeek and they were pretty fast picking up and I explained to the guy at customer service what's been going on and he told me that he's gonna try to sort it out. And after 20 minutes of talking to the guy, he told me that my ticket has indeed been double booked and someone has already claimed my ticket so there was no way I could go in. And he gave me two options. One option was I could either get a refund for my ticket, and the second option was that he could search the entire theater and see if there happened to be a ticket that wasn't sold for the night, and he would give me the ticket for free. So I asked him if he could search the theater and see if there were any other tickets, and me and my girlfriend got super lucky because there happened to be some open seats right at the dress circle, and they were much better and more expensive than the tickets that I had originally gotten at the balcony, and now we had just gotten the seats that were originally $380 for free. So the guy asked me if I wanted to accept the tickets and of course I said yes please and at this point there were only like 10 minutes before the show and so we quickly had to find our seats and even though the guy at SeatGeek was super nice and he was able to answer all my questions and he was fast at responding and he was just super helpful overall despite all of that I would not recommend using SeatGeek because like they said SeatGeek is indeed a third-party seller which means that you probably should not trust the people who are selling you tickets and I thought that I should make a video on this because a lot of big youtubers like I said are being promoted by SeatGeek and are giving out promo codes and after using one of the promo codes even though I was able to get a discount still this whole thing happened and I would not recommend using SeatGeek and I would probably use Ticketmaster or StubHub something that's more safe so if you're watching a YouTube video and the creator is being sponsored by SeatGeek do not take it because something might happen so that does it for this video um, just be sure to be super careful where you're buying your tickets and just make sure it's not SeatGeek that's all thank you